soon. Okay, very good. Hey, chat room. So, chat room, everybody having a warm... <laughs> Uh, um, good fizz, uh, uh, when everything is coming your way, you're in the wrong lane. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Can't wait for Leo's boat podcast. Is he back on the boat thing? Because for a long time he was saying that he wanted to do it from a boat. Um, <clears throat> oh, 36? Bill in Michigan? Oh, my God. No, we almost hit 70 here. I think it was 68. When you see the light at the end of the tunnel, yeah, it's probably a train, oncoming train. Oh, bars. It's the finished. odd little man from Mad. <laughs> oh, I went I ran down and saw the 340 Chicago Limited go past. It's very funny there's a, a man down there <clears throat> who now on Saturdays brings his son down to watch the train go by. You can see the roof of the train. It, it, you stand on a grating and the trains pass underneath you. And I don't know how old the kid is, but the father said, my son thinks you're a magician because every time you show up, a train passes. They got snow? Wow. Oh. Here's a fun little gadget. Anybody, you know about the world's smallest company? They make world's smallest. They gives one gadgets. Is that the instant print kind of? Camera? Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, it's not working. It's a keychain, but they made it so that you can press the <laughs> press the little picture in and out. But that's all it every, does, huh? <laughs> every time a train passes, an angle gets its wing. <laughs> Be better if an angel got its wings. Oh, last night, this morning. Did you hear that storm this morning? No. Oh, my God. About 4.30. Whoa. Whoa. Tremendous rain. But it's uh, sunny to now? Yeah, it's beautiful. Lovely. Well, it's getting dark. Well, yeah, it's evening. Yeah. Evening. That's, that's why I have my, my sunlight lamp on behind me. Oh, yeah, I see the orange glow. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. So, I have gotten everything configured. Okay. I believe. And um, I am recording. And we're on the stream. Hello. And I think, I think we're ready to go. This is 501. It was 500 last week, right? So, that makes this 501? Correct. Woo! -hoo! And it's 11, 12, 22. And it's the regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. Regular yes. old-fashioned Giz Fizz. All right. For Saturday, 11, 12, 22, November 12th, in the year of our Lord, 0, 20, 22, this is the Giz Fizz, episode 501. And it's going to begin real soon. Like <laughs> seconds from now, maybe three or two. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned wait a minute was the z missing regular old-fashioned kids kids oh okay thank you um amazon microsoft keeps moving the little box the little preview box around oh wait wait we're on uh Zoom. Anyway, yes, it's Giz Fizz. Chat room celebrity of the week, anyone? Not even the cricket showed up? Okay. I have a chat room celebrity of the week next week, okay? 
It's an inventor who sent a little video into the Giz Wiz show. And uh, Chad said, you know, he should be ch chat room celebrity of the week. So I emailed him and he'll be here next week. A That's man who excellent. actually invented something and got it to market. Wow. Um, okay. So we're going to do photo captions, photos from George Davis that you caption. We're going to do uh, snappy answers you write to a stupid question. We're going to do logo. We're going to do facts. And I guess we'll just start with George's photos. Photo number one. Wow. Uh, a young girl petting an elephant who is sitting on the ground. Okay. A young lady petting an elephant who is sitting on the ground. Wow, those things are amazing. Okay, uh, the original frunk. You got junk in your trunk. Hey, that's not my tail. Dumbo in real life. Uh, stick your hand in my mouth. Like my new car, it runs on peanuts. Now roll over and beg. Hurry, put the girl in my trunk. Does my breath smell bad? Hidden dragging, trouching elephant. Elephant looks happy. Thanks for sitting on that guy who was bothering me. Uh, something just okay. And the banana comes out here. More on the head, please. Uber driver waiting for its fare. Thai pets are huge. Uh, nice kitty. How dare you super glue my trunk to my head? Ouch, you're bending my nose. Uh, next, I'll teach you to fetch. Um, Want to tickle my ivy? Pedicure, please. And we'll end with, hey, watch that right tusk. Okay, George said, for young lady talking to thunder. Uh, oh, okay. Talking to thunder and elephant. My caption is thunder. I ordered uh, I ordered you 100 pounds of peanuts. They'll be here on Friday and I'm sure you'll be happy. Okay. Photo 2 is wow. A beautiful parrot sitting on sitting on a stick. And is showing us one of his wings fully outstretched. Parrot on a stick. Showing his wing. Colorful wing. God, the whole parrot is beautiful. Wing on. Outstretched. Sitting on a stick. <laughs> he went that away. Right wing parrot. It's that way. Right turn Clyde. Uh, does my wing pit smell? Uh, Starbucks is that way. Go that way. Giving directions to the zoo. Colorful traffic officer. Can you tell me where the bathroom is? One flap down. Uh, this way to paradise. Our new school traffic guard. It's over there. Um, salute. Salute Lady Locust V2. Must new mascot for Twitter. They went that away. Taxi! Giz says that away, pointing the way. I can only fly in circles. Like this, I can only fly in circles. Go that way. Turn here for Polly's Club. Uh, hey, Gumby, practicing be a tarmac traffic director. Disneyland is that way. I need a stronger deodorant. Right God's new spokesperson. A lot of deodorant jokes. No, go that way. I salute you. He's about this tall, going my way, Hitler's pet parrot, and we'll end with Twisted Mister. The new cars are over there. Okay. And George said, for the parrot sitting on his perch, pointing to the right, my caption is, my twin brother will be coming up soon from the pet store down there. That I'm pointing to. And today we'll be celebrating our 50th 
birthday. That's what I think parrots live to be an incredible, uh, incredibly long time. Okay, photo three. Wow. A basket of lilacs. Different shades of lilac. Basket of lilacs. <laughs> okay. Um, um. It's a macaw. Pollen factory. Bloody lupins. What we get from purple rain. These seem to be a, a little bit harder. Parrots are cool, but they make a lot of noise and poop all over the place. Natural air freshener. It's springtime somewhere. Ready to sneeze at chew. X lax. I thought you said lilacs. Uh, ah, the scent of spring. Smurf nose dives into basket. Springtime for Hitler's parrot in Germany. Delivery for a stiff. These will smell good. Easter bouquet has finally arrived. Huh. I guess they ran out of stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what George put for a bunch of colorful lilacs. My caption is, my hometown, Spokane, Washington, the lilac capital, smells so good in the spring as you ride your bike through the city. Uh, okay. Photo four. Wow. The elephant in photo one is now airborne, hoisted by a big hot air balloon. Elephant in midair, hoisted by a big hot air balloon. Um, elephant theme today, Dumbo rests his ears. Failed Amazon delivers service idea. Newest circus attraction. Maximum capacity for this balloon, one elephant. We got him up. How do we get him down? Dumbo drop. Uh, picture one got a Zuba. Okay, Dumbo, start flapping your ears. Man, it's a gas. How do you get an elephant out of a tree? I'm not in Candace anymore. Look out below. Thunder attracting lightning. Thunder is going into the thunder. Watch out below. I'm going to poop. Dumbo's brother, Dumby. New Amazon drone. Air elephant. An elevated elephant, Uber driver as gone air service. P.T. Barnum is missing an elephant. I told you to stop complaining about birds soiling your car. Oh, that's funny, twisted. Uh, see that, you birds? You're not the only ones who can fly. And we'll end with Hekanos. Dumbo flies home. Uh, okay. George said, for an elephant being carried by a, by a hot air balloon, my caption is, Murray, my friendly pachyderm is being carried to a lake nearby so he can get a drink of water or take a bath if he wants to. It's his choice. Uh, okay, photo five. Hold, hold on a second. There's a... Uh... There's a scaling issue with this photo. Okay. Let me see. This is in eight. And it's A. There it is. Okay. I found the right button. Wow. Uh, there's the whole thing. Wow. It's a 1936 Scarab car. Very futuristic for its time. Okay. And it can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, submarine ride at Disneyland. Taxi bus goes both ways. We call it the, the doodle bug before there were SUVs. Early version of the VW bus. I saw that car. It's awesome, says Magoo. First roach coach. Daddy's limo. 
<laughs> Door handles are an extra add-on. When your car designer likes dung beetles, Hindenburg Limo Service begins next week. Jamma B's new VW Buzz. Oh, you have to catch us up on that after. We need more vehicles like this, innovative and futuristic thinking. We ran out of engine, so we just stopped. That was a time when car designer learned about aerodynamics. A VW Beetle that's been stretched comes with Wi-Fi. Look at those white walls, says Becky. Myra Joyce's new ride, new school bus. And we'll end with the doors for the rear passengers are extra. Oh, you're right. Wow. That is a long car to be a two-door. Uh, let's see. George said, uh, for the 1936 Stout Scarab, my caption is, the designer of this new car was the founder of America's first scheduled airlines, Scout Airline Service, which became United Airlines. Wow. I assume that that's a fact. Okay, photo six. Photo six is, wow, from streamlined to really old, old, one of those old-fashioned irons that you heated on the stove uh, to press close. Maybe it's a steam iron. <laughs> it has holes along the bottom. Old-fashioned iron can be whatever you want it to be. Door jam, that sounds good. Looks like my iron hasn't been used in decades, says Myra. This fruitcake is getting pretty long in the tooth. It's Iron Man. Isn't that ironic? Ironic, don't you think? Iron, iron. We're tough as iron. I need more iron in my diet. Great weapon for intruders. Monopoly piece. Burger grill shaper. Great for making grilled cheese. Grandma's iron. 18th century facial wrinkle remover, part of the iron curtain. I think it's a steam engine iron. One less iron in the fire. New mouse catcher. Two American iron. Jeremy Irons. <laughs> Jeremy Irons, long lost relative. Uh, you put hot coals into iron. Oh, that could be uh, iPod's grandfather. That's a hot one. Uh, just as useful now as a compact disc. And we'll end with Doug, who says, branding done cheap. Uh, okay. George said, for the old metal iron, my caption is, when I was a little boy, my grandmother used to iron my pajamas using an iron like this. After ironing, I put my pajamas on and they were warm and toasty, says George. Oh, very nice, George. And time for amazing facts about cities from George Davis. Oh, amazing fact about Seattle. Isn't it where Alex is, Jimmy B? Yes. Seattle was the first station, uh, the first city to have a gas station. It opened in 1907 on Holgate and Western Street. Seattle has the highest rate of people with college degrees. Seattle has the most households with more pets than children. Wow. Three facts in one city, that Seattle. Yeah, that's great. Uh, fact number two, 30, oh, wait a minute. Um, oh, okay, let's, let's, let's play this for uh, a question. At a McDonald's in Russia in 1990, a new record was set for the most burgers served in a day how many burgers did the russian mcdonald's serve okay 
One day at a McDonald's in Moscow in 1990, a record number of hamburgers was served, and that record has not been broken. A billion, 55,000. <laughs> Okaru said four, but they were really big. 50,000, 2,000, almost two pounds of beef, 3,500. 30,000 says sly one. Gives one 30,000, 12,000. Myra, any guess? Not a clue. Jamma B, any guess? 5,002. Oh. <laughs> 5,002. Okay, now, unless people have been Googling it, because three people have the exact number, the answer is... 30,000 burgers were sold in one day at McDonald's in 1990, a record. Mexico City was built on a lake called Texcoco, and it keeps on sinking. Oh, he, he wrote this as a, quest, as a match hand question. Uh, Texcoco keeps on sinking. The city sinks as much as blank feet a day. Mexico City was built on a lake called Texcoco, and it keeps on sinking. The city sinks as much as blank feet a day. Well, I it's got to be small, would be my guess. I'm going with 11 feet a day, which seems a lot. Uh, Myra? Six. Six feet. Six <laughs> feet a day? Jamma B, the city in Texas, uh, in uh, Mexico City. <laughs> two feet. The, two feet a day. That's a, uh, maximum. That's a maximum on a good day. You know, some days it's only a couple inches. But on a good a day, minute. it can be up to two feet. George, this sounds very suspicious. Uh, okay. According to this, the city can sink as much as 29 and a half feet what? a day. That's a that's that's a sinking city. Crazy. That is crazy. I mean, at the end of the year, you'd need a, a, a ninety-story elevator to get down there. Uh, okay. Um, Somebody Google. Yeah, someone Google that. Time sure flies. Ha ha. Says George. I love everybody. I had a great time. We'll be doing this again soon. See you then. Bye. George, <laughs> uh, Travis says, yes, but it raises by 100 feet. Um, okay. All right, so several people, let me see. Several people asking, have I seen Weird Al's movie? And it's on, is it only on Netflix? Does anybody know? And some people seem surprised that Alfred e. there's an Alfred e. Newman photo in the opening credits. You know Weird Al is a monstrous Mad fan, has edited an issue of Mad, okay? Um, yeah, you know, up to Mad, Mad Magazine up. made Al weird. <laughs> but the movie, the movie is very funny. I, I actually emailed uh, Al. Um, I said, your movie's great. Some really laugh out loud stuff. So original. Um, like your father, my father did not want me uh, uh, to be a writer. Uh, he said, writing is not an occupation. An occupation is where someone uses tools. He never changed his mind. Maybe seeing your movie will help. My father has a Roku box, cable, electricity, but no heartbeat. So I assume he will not feel... <laughs> But I feel he will not feel differently. Uh, but proud to be a, a writer and proud to know you, Al. So Al, Al wrote back in, in a half an hour. It's very funny, too. Dick, to get a letter like this from one of my all-time heroes is a feeling I can barely put into words. But to get a letter like this from you <laughs> is pretty cool, too. <laughs> 
seriously, this means a lot to me. Thank you so much, my friend, Al. So anyway, that was, that was, that was great. Um, uh, okay. We're going to do some logo. Oh, wait a minute. I found a thing online. Oh yeah. I just printed it out. Bum, bum. All right. Most popular beverage in the world. Most popular beverage in the world. Uh, Coke. Jam a bee. Uh, tea was my first impression, but a lot of people do. Uh, does water count? <laughs> uh, Myra? Tea. Uh, okay. Well, yes. Water was number one. So what was no, number two? After water, what's the most popular beverage? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, chat room. After water, most popular at Myra's up with tea, beer, <laughs> whiskey, tea, beer, Guinness. Wow. Tang. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you well, kidding we're not talking me? about the moon, right? This is Earth, not the no. moon. No. Maybe on the beer. <laughs> Logan says number two is also water. Uh, spirits, well, <laughs> a lot <of> cognac. <laughs> um, Jeremy B, what was your answer? Tea. Myra's tea. tea. Yeah. Tea. Yes. The second most popular beverage in the world is indeed tea. And. Oh, okay. Did I write the? I, I didn't write the answer to the next one down. Uh, okay. Da -da. So we will do. Oh, cars on screen. Uh, uh, uh. Cars on screen. What group drove around a converted 1959 Cadillac ambulance? Called Ecto One, Ec Eclo One. Too easy. Too easy. Yep. Oh, too easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, too easy. All right. I, I didn't even need the name of the car. You know. No. Oh, I, wait. Tell us about your Volkswagen. Well, or aren't uh, you aren't you waiting for one? Like they're twenty twenty four. They don't come out for two years. Oh, I thought it was twenty. I thought it was coming in January. No, okay. no, no. Uh, ID Buzz is the electric van, and Ooh. then there is a camper version of it called ID California. Hasn't confirmed that the ID California is going to be sold in the U.S. Maybe just in Europe, <laughs> but if it does come to the U.S., I really would like a camper version of the van, as long as I can, you know, convert it to be uh storage and passengers i want to be able to convert it a lot you know maybe take passengers maybe fill it with stuff but i need a place to sleep okay oh okay so so you will see it sometime in in, in 2024 that's what's supposed to come it, out. I, maybe, maybe if it's twenty twenty four, maybe it'll come out at the end of twenty twenty three. Yeah, Still yeah. Normally, for it, specifics. Yeah. Okay. Normally, some cars start out in uh, the year September. before their um, yeah, model yeah, year. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what's the make and model of the car in the Disney movie Herbie? That one's also easy. Uh, I know only part of it. Okay. Make and model of the car, Herbie, used in a Disney movie. Uh, it is easy. Chat room's got it. Wow. It is the VW Bug. All right. May, may, you know, maybe, maybe this is easy, too. In what movie does uh, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey sing Bohemian Rhapsody while driving around in an AMC Pacer? Yeah, also pretty easy. It's still pretty easy? Okay, wow. Well, it's a classic scene. 
In what movie? All right. Boy, you can't fool. You cannot fool this. Wow. Uh, let's see the last one. Oh. Um, well, I'm, I'm going to change this around a little. In Thelma and Louise, what kind of a car does Susan Sarandon and Jenna Davis drive around in? You're right. Some of the questions are not a car, but I just made this last one a car. What kind of a car does Susan Sarandon and Jenna Davis drive around Oh my God. Did you know? I knew it was a convertible. Yeah, that's all Genevieve. I knew. I knew it was a convertible. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all you knew, a convertible. Yeah, chat room oh, seems to know. The yeah. chat room has it. It is a Ford Thunderbird. Wow. Chat room, you are amazing. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, did we do this? The soda that advertises, I can't believe they advertise this, all the sugar and twice the caffeine. I don't remember that. <laughs> okay. Isn't that a weird tagline? All the sugar and twice the caffeine. What soda? All the sugar? What soda advertises that? All the sugar? Uh, Nobody yeah. Nobody else gets any sugar? All the sugar and twice yeah. the caffeine. Give Jammer B some sugar. Boost. All right. No, we're off card trivia. It is indeed Jolt. God, you people know everything about everything. old cars. Everything and, about and everything. <laughs> Everywhere, uh, all at once. Oh, all right. So this is going to stump you. What company uses legs can never be too long or too sexy? Hmm. Uh, uh, ah. Hmm. I'll say ZZ Top. Now, what company uses legs can never be too long or too sexy? Wow, I seem like the wrong company. Uh, no, I I can't believe that this card is correct. All right, I'll tell you, no, no one has it. That's why. I think it's wrong. They say that maiden form used the slogan, legs can never be too long or too sexy. Ooh, maiden form. Yeah. Huh. Weren't they only bras? I, they're wearing their, their product wrong. Um, these are hard. What? Anyway, okay. Uh, 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 we'll do one more, and then we'll move on. We'll do our snappy answer. We didn't get to do that last week. <laughs> All right, the kind of sunglasses Dan uh, Aykroyd and John Belushi wear in Blues Brothers. There's a lot of movie stuff today. Brand of sunglasses Aykroyd and Belushi wear in Blues Brothers. Cheap, tinted, Ray-Ban, overpriced, Foster Grants, Jamma B. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark, and we're wearing sunglasses. Yes, is that your answer? That's a famous quote from the movie. 
Oh, okay. I don't know. They were dark. They were black. Let's say Ray Bans, sure. Yeah, Gene Rayburns. <laughs> says Martron. <laughs> they are. <laughs> That's very funny. Oh, I should know this, but I didn't. What canned tomato brand means "woman of the fields" in Italian? What can tomato brand means woman of the fields <laughs> in Italian? No, it's not fact of crap. <laughs> Mama la la <laughs> <The last. laughs> I can't even admire it. Or Chef Boy ID, no. Streetwalker, no. Ragu, no. <laughs> it is Jamie V. Any idea? I Several thought Contadina also. It is Contadina. Very good. Very good. Oh, fill in the blank. Um, finish. Fill in the blank to finish this slogan. Bring out the blank, and bring out the best. I know this. What company uses the slogan, bring out the blank, you fill it in, bring out the best. Molomars? <laughs> oh, wait, I know. Oh, my God. All right, these, these are, this is a, <laughs> it's interesting how some, Slogans really stick around. Did you know Jamie B? Uh, I think I did, but the chat room reminded me for sure. Okay. And it's, you knew? No. No. Okay. It, it's Hellman's. Nah, Bring out the Hellman's. Maybe, maybe, and, maybe, maybe where you're at, it's Hellman's. Where I'm at, <laughs> it's Best Foods. It's what? Best Foods. Oh, Best Foods. Okay. Yeah. No, there's no Hellman's out here. There is no helmets out there. No, it's Best Foods. Same thing. It's the exact wow. same thing with a different name. Oh, okay. and the and the commercial was bring out the best, bring out the best, bring out the best foods, bring out the best. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Okay, you have that commercial that we could yeah. see to uh, to, well, to let prove. Me, let me investigate to prove. Um. Uh, um. Okay, we're gonna do a. Where did I put Jaffe's book? Here we are. All right, we're going to do a stupid question, and you will provide the snappy answers. Let me cover Jaffe's. Uh, well, we always start with the Guinness Book of World Records from food, the foods category, okay? And it looks like, um, can you cut to my, my, uh, the full camera for a minute? There we are. Looks like Philadelphia sponsored this world's largest cheesecake. I'll tell you the dimensions. Introducing new best food salad dressings. Oh, oh yeah, go ahead. Do that. I'm sorry. I muted the wrong fader. You heard that? You want to see that? Yeah. Okay. Introducing new best food salad dressings. Just one taste, and you'll want to pour it on. Pour it on, which dress up the pouring, bring out the best. It's best food you're pouring. It's brand new for you, like only we can do. Pour on the best food. Six new dressings, so creamy, so homemade tasting, they're good enough to be called best foods. New best food salad dressings. Bring out the best foods and pour on the best. Yeah. Pretty close. Pretty close. Okay. Largest cheesecake ever, according to Guinness Book of Records. On Oh, it's old. On January 2009, a cheesecake was made that was one foot ten inches tall and eight feet two inches around, and it weighed how much? How, how tall World was it? It was only uh, one foot ten inches high. That's so. That's a pretty that's tall, what? pretty tall pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, eight foot two inches in diameter, 
and it looks like I used Philly cream cheese. Wow, let's see. Uh, let me look at the answer here. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, let me guess before I, I look. Uh, that's big. I'm um, 780 pounds, me. Myra? I think I said about, I don't know, 500. 500 pounds? Okay. Jamma B? 501. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, let me look at the chat room. A thousand six hundred and four. Wow, thirty two hundred forty six. Declare Stooge did two three two trillion calories. Okay, it weighed twenty one hundred and thirty three pounds. I was way over. You and Myra were way under. Anybody getting the two thousand? Webb is pretty close. Twenty seven hundred. I web seventy sixty seven only because as far as without scrolling back up, you're the closest. All right. Ta -da! I'm going to use that card to cover Jaffe's answers. All right. You're going to write snappy answers to uh, uh, um, big, big road sign that says Blackville, two miles. And the man in the car is saying, is this the road to Blackville? And the farmer standing there says something snappy. And we have three snappy answers from Jaffe. Is this the road to Blackville? No, it's the road to Clarksville. If you miss the turn, you'll end up in Fartville. No, it's the road to Ble Belchville. It's a typo. Oh, another one. It's the road to Belchville. Oh, that's funny. No, it's no, it's the road to hell. No, the sign is trying to get you lost. It's the road to nowhere. No, you can't get to Blackville from here. Uh, no, the one and the zero blew off. Uh, oh, and uh, you're in Blackville. It ends in two miles. No, it's the road to the airport to fly the two miles. No, it's the road to the school for the terminally stupid people. <laughs> no, the, the sign says that. Oh, that's funny. Uh, no turn around. No, it's the highway to hell. It's missing. The sign's missing an A. It's the road to Bleachville. All right. Let's see what Jaffe put. Is this the road to uh, Blackville? No, it's the road to Plottsville. Blackville just happens to be in front of it. Oh, that's funny. No, turn around and go straight for 24,900 miles and you can't miss it. I don't know if this is the road to Blackville, but this is the sign that leads to Blackville. Anyway, okay. Uh, all right, we're going to do some. Oh, I got to call Dennis. Oh, you want to see if Alex is about? I'll give him a bing. He's around. Uh, um, uh, um, um, hey, no, it's a sign. Okay. Uh, bum, bum. Uh, uh, recent and Dennis. Um, Okay, two rings, and we're ready to go. Gamma B, use the machine that goes ping. Yeah, okay. I mean, all these machines go ping. We're pinging left and right. Alex has joined us. Oh, great. Yeah, you great. know, you, you, your, your terminal, your command line, you can you can request pings. You just go out there on the internet, things will ping. They're pinging like crazy around here. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Oh, I hear, yeah, I hear Charlie. All uh, right, Dennis will let him in, and I have a pencil and paper ready. Charlie, come on in. Uh, the old lady who lived in the shoe said, we got to move out of this valley. Last night, the jolly green giant blanked in our shoe. The old lady who lived in the shoe said, we got to move out of this valley. Last night, the jolly green giant blanked in our shoe. Our really big shoe. 
Oh, wait, I have George's paper. Okay. Uh, uh, um. Oh, this is good. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yes. The old lady who lived in the shoe said, we got to move out of this valley. Last night, the jelly green giant blanked in our shoe. Oh. Okay. All right, Alex, we're going to start with you. Old lady that lived in the shoe, we got to move because the jelly green giant stepped in our shoe. Up, oh, sly, sly one. Uh, I just you got a match there. Uh, Jamma B, jelly green giant blanked in our shoe, pooped. Um, okay, I'll go since it's a match. Poo pooed in our shoe, Myra. Oh, uh, planted corn. <laughs> Jolly Green Giant. Okay, no, that's that's good. Oh, and I think oh, where were they the niblets? Were they were they niblets? Peed. You got some matches there. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Um, the psychiatrist said any person can get a a. Any psychiatrist can get a person to come out of their shell. But me, I can get a blank to come out of its shell. Oh, I got a great answer. Probably, probably no matches, but it's a great answer. The psychiatrist said, any psychiatrist can get a person to come out of his shell. Me? I can get a blank to come out of its shell. Uh, okay. Huh? Um. Oh, wow. I am. Oh, wow. Saved by a member of the chat room. Uh, you got one, Dennis? All right. Uh, Dennis, we're going to start with you. Anybody can get a... Scott psychiatrist said anybody can get a person to come out of a shell. Me, I can get a blank to come out of its shell. Dennis said lobster. Got matches. Myra said a walnut. <laughs> Hekinos, walnut. I see walnut there. Thanks to Hawk's Post. For a minute, I thought no one said it. An egg to come out of its shell. That's pretty tricky. Jamma B. Anybody get a snail? You got matches? And Alex? Charlie, not yet. Not yet. A snail. Okay, very good. Um, oh, you know the old song, I've Got You Under My Skin? No, I never heard it. Okay, well, <laughs> it doesn't matter because there's a new song about used chewing gum, and it's called I've Got You Under My Blank. There's a new song about used chewing gum. It's called I Got You Under My Blank. Charlie, not yet. We just started. (laughs) Uh, Let me look up. I got you under my hair, under my seat, under my desk. Dining table under my heel. That's very good. <clears throat> under my hair. <laughs> under my theater seat. Um, okay, we'll start with Myra. Uh, a new song about chewing gum. Chew chewing gum. I got you under my. <laughs> Charlie, not yet. Under my. Oh my God. Seventy-nine twenty-five. You matched at that moment, uh, Dennis. I've got you the used chewing gum song. I've got you under my movie seat. A lot of matches. I got matches. I got you under my chair or under my seat. Jamma B. I've got you under my table. You got matches. And Alex, used chewing gum table. Very good. Chat room got a lot of matches with that. Um. Mm-mm. 
Okay, dumb Dora was so dumb. How dumb was she? She tried to commit suicide by sticking her head in the blank. Actually, the whole question is, uh, uh, dumb Dora was so dumb, instead of sticking her head in the oven, oh, okay. she stuck her head in the blank. All right. Dumb Dora was so dumb. Instead of sticking her head in the oven, she stuck her head in the blank. Charlie, stop it. We have we have another question first. I think I'm going to get a lot of matches. Let me look up. Yes, I do. Um, oh, Easy Bake Oven. That's very funny. Um, okay, Jamma B, we're going to start with you. Dumb door was so dumb when she tried to kill herself. She didn't stick her head in the oven. She stuck her head in the refrigerator. <clears throat> you just matched Ranger Rick. Uh, Alex, she stuck her head in the <coughs> toaster. Okay, you got some matches. Uh, I got some matches. She stuck her head in the microwave. Myra. Oh. <laughs> the question was like grossing me out. She stuck her head in the TV. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Dennis said she stuck her head in the hair dryer. Okay. <laughs> Larry said, I have terrible luck. I have a jigsaw puzzle of Cleopatra, but there's a piece of her blank missing. Oh, <laughs> uh, we know yeah, this way, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Larry said, just my luck, I bought a jigsaw puzzle of Cleopatra, and there's a piece of her blank missing. Uh, uh, uh. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, I thought we were going to get tons of it. Wow. I got a lot of matches, but not, not the number I thought. Um, Larry said I have a puzzle, and a, 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 a jigsaw puzzle of Cleopatra, but they left out a piece of her asp. Um, and Myra, a piece of her eye. Oh, close ear. Uh, okay, Dennis and I match. Piece of her ass. Um, Alex, puzzle of Cleopatra, but is missing a piece of her ego. Okay, and Jamma B, missing a piece of her ass. Yay. Okay, we'll do one more question and then the Charlie Bear. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this is clever, but it can be difficult. Tiny Tom Thumb said, at banquets, big people have a pig with an apple in its mouth. At little people's banquet, we have a blank with a raisin in its mouth. Tiny Tom Thumb said, big people at a banquet have a pig with an apple in its mouth little people have banquets with a uh, w have a blank with a raisin in its mouth uh, mm -mm -mm. Uh, boy this is not as oh oh mouth all right Okay, I my guess is I'm not going to match, and I didn't. Um, all right, since I didn't match anybody, uh, originally I wrote chicken, and then I thought a chicken doesn't have a mouth, it has a beak. So I wrote a fish, <laughs> but fish didn't match anybody. Uh, Jamma B, um, 
Little people have a blank with a raisin in their mouth. Jamma B, go, go. A frog. Oh, that's all oh, you match. You no. 20. Charlie, it's coming. You're next. Myra, not a pig in it. Charlie, in a minute. A mouse with a raisin in its mouth. Oh, lots of, lots of mice. This is in Manhattan. In Manhattan. <laughs> oh, you got matches. A roach with a raisin in its mouth. <laughs> and Alex? A mouse. You match Myra. Okay. Oh, I thought Manhattan would be a rat. Well, both. We have your choice. We're not, we just don't limit ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that's right. A rat, a raisin, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah. Um, all right. Anyway, chat room, it's time to meet the canine representative. Oh my God. Oh my God. He said, I cannot believe it. I can't. How can we, Charlie? Come here. Come here. Come here. I'll pick you. Oh, 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 oh. Yay. Oh my God. Let me get my tail up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Charlie. Oh, oh, Charlie. I have your, your tail under. Hang on, let's see. All right. You, oh, your tail is under. That's okay. Charlie, this is the part you love. Oh, there he oh, oh, is. There we go. Yay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. My, oh, the, I'm on, I'm on the gift spins. I'm on the gift spins. Okay. <laughs> oh, very good. Wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, we all we all got shots recently. Dennis and I got our fifth booster, and we got our flu shots. And Charlie got um, two shots. I don't know. Um, bump bump. Charlie's Green Room Catering, <laughs> provided by Snacks for Snuggums of Trenton, New Jersey. It's about time we plug those people. They should send us some free snacks. Uh, all right, Chad is off on a week-long charity event. This thing for the uh, child, I think, Children's Miracle Network. 30 people rent a mansion on Airbnb and put on a week-long show. And last year, they raised over $100,000. So we pre-taped. This week's Gizwiz. So this Thursday, there's no Gizwiz show. And the following week, we're doing it Wednesday because, can you believe it's Thanksgiving? A week from next Thursday. So we're doing uh, Gizwiz Thanksgiving Eve. And we'll be back next Saturday for this. And we'll have a chat room celebrity of the week next week. This has been regular, old-fashioned Giz Fizz. <laughs> Giz Fizz is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman, Dick D. Bartolo, Dennis Wonderland, Myra Joyce, Jamma B, Becky, Beatmaster, Scooter X, Magoo 2, ZX, Morgus, Geek Wannabe, Ranger Rick, Magoo, Declare Redacted, TI-83, oh my God, they're so fast, Black Rock, Sly One, Caesar, Adam 24, Superu, Bill in Michigan, Salty, Denver George, Becky, if I didn't do it, Tupelo Steve, Gumby, Roberto Hellman, and Johnny Monday. Uh, remember, it's brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not for turtles anymore. Oh, I love the chair. See you next week. Bye. Oh, that Leo puppet. Where is that from, Jamie B? I don't know. Oh, okay. I, I don't remember. I, I th th There's a Leo puppet and a Patrick Norton puppet. They've been around for a long time. Not really sure where they came from, but we play with them occasionally. Oh, no, they're great. They're great. Uh, oh, Loke. Sorry. Um, all right, everybody. I'll see you. Um, uh, next Saturday is the next time we'll see each other. No, no gizwiz this week. Right. Okay, bye. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Alex, good seeing you. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. And with that, 
It's time Into for reruns. Yes, I got the reruns ready to go. We're not going to have to wait for the reruns. The reruns are going to start right now. Real soon. Like, immediately. <laughs> 